Okay, on example four, it says the liquid part of a diet is to provide at least 350 calories, uh, 38 units of vitamin A, and 95 units of vitamin C. That's what we want to end up with. Okay, now how do we get these? Well, from two different uh, dietary drinks. Okay, drink X costs 15 cents uh, uh, per cup and provides 65 calories, 15 units of vitamin A, and 12 units of vitamin C. Okay, one cup of dietary drink Y costs 20 cents and provides 55 calories, 5 units of vitamin A, and 30 units of vitamin C. How many cups of each drink should be consumed each day to meet the daily requirements and cost the lowest? Okay, so we have three inequalities, one based on the number of calories, that's 65 calories from each cup of dietary drink X, plus 55 calories from each a uh, cup of dietary drink Y has to be at least, that means greater than or equal to, 350 calories. Okay, that's tying all the calories together. Vitamin A, you get 15 units of vitamin A from uh, dietary drink X plus 5 uh, units of vitamin A from dietary drink Y has to be at least 38 units of vitamin A. And then your vitamin C, well, from uh, dietary drink X, you get 12 units of vitamin C for each cup, and you get uh, 30 units of vitamin C from each drink uh, cup of drink Y, and how many uh, uh, units of vitamin C do you need? Well, 95. So these are my three inequalities, and there's also the fact that uh, you can't drink a negative amount. So the amount that you drink from dietary dr drink X it could be zero, but it can't be less than zero. So in other words, X has to be greater than or equal to zero, and Y has to be greater than or equal to zero. So that's actually five inequalities. That's more than we can graph here, but uh, these two are just uh, the axis. X is greater than or equal to zero is, means that it has to be above the, uh, uh, well, it means it has to be to the right of the Y axis. And y being greater than or equal to zero means that the height has to be above the x-axis. So we'll just go with these three and put them in, and maybe one of these two. And then the thing that we're trying to minimize here is we're trying to find the lowest cost. Okay, so the cost is 15 cents for each cup of dietary drink x plus 12, uh, 20 cents for each cup of dietary drink y. So you would uh, put in these coefficients here, as we have. This one, I have the x is greater than or equal to zero. So the only one we're missing is the y is greater than or equal to zero, and that's just the x-axis. And uh, then when you get those in there, you'll get all the points of intersection, and then set the start and end values of your uh, graph. Like looking at the x's, they go about as low as zero, up to as high of about, uh, looking through the x's, they go about as high as really only five or so. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, that's about it, about five units high, and, uh, well, four, but maybe you might want to go up to five, and the Ys go from, uh, well, zero. They could go as low as zero up to as high as maybe six here, and um, that's what I'm getting, and let's take a look at it here. Uh, I went from zero out to eight, and I really didn't have to go that far. The Xs go as high as... Uh, yeah, the X's don't go clear out to 8. The X's here, looking at this, they all kind of stop a little bit before uh, 8. There must, must be one X value that goes out there pretty far here. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, actually, that's where that intersects, but we'd, it'd be good to see where it intersects the X axis, too, because the X axis is another inequality. It has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, when you check 0, 0 in each of these inequalities, uh, it's a false statement. Like, if you check uh, 0, 0 in, uh, in each of these, and 0, 0, 0 is below each of those lines, if you check 0, 0 in here, you get 0 is greater than 350. That's a false statement. That's a false statement. And 0, 0 is greater than 95. That's a false statement. So since 0, 0 gives you false statements, and that's below each of the lines, it means the feasible or solution region is above each of these lines and also above the x-axis and to the right of the y-axis. So a graph of the feasibility region or the solution region um, be shown here to you. And so there's a graph of the solution region. Now, it goes on forever here, but what do we want to do? We're looking for a minimum here, the lowest cost. 
Well, the lowest cost is either going to be right here where these, uh, where this uh, red graph intersects the uh, y-axis, or it's where the red and blue graph intersect, or it's where the blue and green graph intersect, or it's where the uh, green graph intersects the uh, x-axis. Okay, so it's one of those places. Now, all those points of intersection are found here, like where does the uh, this red graph intersect the x-axis, uh, sorry, the y-axis? Well, that's red and pink, and the red and pink, that's the second and fourth equation, and the second and fourth equation intersect at 0, 0.7.6. So you would try that out in here and see what you get. See, here's my coefficients for my uh, objective equation, 15 cents for each cup of x and 20 cents for each cup of y. So if we try that this one out, and we can have fractional amounts, you can have a fractional amount of a cup, but if we had 0, and uh, 7.6, what do we get for the cost? Well, we get $1.52 would be the cost to give your minimum daily requirements of vitamin A, vitamin C, and calories. Uh, well, is that your lowest cost? Well, let's check this one out where 1 and 2 intersect. 1 and 2 intersect right here at this point. If I check this one out at 0.68 and also 5.56, I get $1.21. Well, that's better. Uh, what about this point right here? Well, this point is where 1 and 3 intersect, and 1 and 3 intersect right there, and you could try that point out. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in. That equals this, and the y value is equal to this value. And what do you get? A better, uh, cheaper cost, about 92 cents. And then finally, the last point of intersection is right here, where the green graph intersects the uh, uh, x-axis. And the green graph is from the third equation. And that third equation right there, uh, when it hits the x-axis, the y is 0. And when the y is 0, let me just put 0 right here. When the y is 0, the x would be what? Well, if the y is 0, you would just have 12x equals 95 or x equals 95 over 12. So let me just type in equals 95 divided by 12, and that's $1.18. So the cheapest is actually uh, this point of intersection right here where the blue and the green intersected, and that was uh, 1 and 3 right there, 4.089 and 1.53 cups of drink Y, and I think the cost was about 92 cents. Let's go ahead and do this problem using the... Uh, solve button. So here we go. Hit the solve. What are we finding? Well, we're finding a minimum. Our objective equation is the minimum cost. So that's choice one. All of our inequalities were less than. So that's choice one, one, one. And actually the last one, yeah, it has to be greater than that, but it, this is uh, not necessary anyway since it had to be, uh, it is knows that it can't be negative value, so we really don't need the fourth one. Does it have to be a whole number? No, you can have a half of a cup or whatever, so we'll just hit enter on those. It works it out, and uh, we're getting zero, zero here on this. So let's try this one more time and see what happens. And my mistake was that these inequalities have to be uh, I had the wrong inequality sign. Looking back at the problem, all the inequality signs were greater than or equal to. Okay, that's why we shaded above everything. So let's do this one more time here using the solve button. So here we go. We're looking for a minimum cost. So that is choice one. That isn't where we made the mistake. Right here is all these were greater than, greater than or equal to 350, greater than 38. So all these are greater than choice three. So three. Three, three. We don't really need the fourth one. No whole numbers needed here, and it works it out. And there's your answer, and that is a solution set right there, where, where equation one intersected equation three. So, to get the minimum cost, how much of dietary drink X would you need? 4.089. How much of dietary drink Y would you need? 1.53 cups. What is your minimum cost? Round to the nearest penny, 92 cents, and that will do it.